Mom, I have exciting news to tell you. Oh, I'm so happy and excited. I know it'll happen sooner or later, but I didn't expect it to come this quickly. I can't wait to hear your good news. I also have something to share, but I'll wait for you to go first. <laughs> Guess what? Harry finally popped the question and proposed to me. <laughs> it's absolutely surreal. I can hardly believe it myself. Do you know what this means? It means we're getting married, Mom. Oh, really? That's wonderful news. I'm so happy for you, honey. I know you've been wanting this for a long time, and I'm so glad that it's finally happened. This is such a major milestone in your life, and I couldn't be more proud and happy for you. Harry is such a kind, attentive, considerate man. I know you two will make a great couple together. I'm really excited for you to start this new chapter in your life. Oh, really? Thanks, Mom. You won't believe this, but Harry and I are thinking of a wedding that's dripping with glamour and formality. We want every detail to be perfect. From the guest list, to the date and venue, the theme and style, and even the designs for the wedding invitations. There's a lot to consider. So, what do you say? Can you spare some time tomorrow morning at around 10 a.m. to help me with my wedding planning? Tomorrow morning at 10 a.m.? Sorry, honey. I'm afraid I can't because I'll be busy at that time. I have another commitment which can't be easily rescheduled. Busy? What could possibly be more important than helping me prepare for my wedding? I'm really surprised, Mom. Um, well, this might come as a surprise, but I... I found out that I'm pregnant. It's still sinking in, and honestly, I don't even know where to begin. I took a pregnancy test not long ago, and it turned out positive. So, I've taken the step of scheduling an appointment with my doctor for a prenatal visit. It's all so overwhelming, but I wanted to share this news with you. <laughs> what? You're... Pr you're pregnant? Seriously? Who's the father? Is it your boyfriend, Adrian? <laughs> I can't believe this news. Yes, it's true. The baby is indeed Adrian's and mine. I wanted to tell you as soon as possible, but I was unsure of how you would react. I've been feeling quite nervous about it all, and the last thing I want is to make you sad. Wow, Mom. I don't know what to say. This truly came as a shock to me. I'm completely speechless. I'm sorry, dear. I know you've been my only child since your dad and I split up. I've always strived to provide you with all the love and care in the world. I've taken on both the roles of a mother and a father to ensure that you grow up in the best possible environment. But now that you're all grown up, I've given it a lot of thought. I believe it's time for me to pursue my own happiness. Please understand, it doesn't mean that I love and care for you any less. It's just that I want to find my own fulfillment in life too. Well, I mean, you and Adrian haven't gotten married yet, so do you think it's a good idea to have a child with him? It's true that Adrian and I are not married yet. However, we have a strong relationship based on trust, support, and shared values. We feel like we are ready to embrace the joys and responsibilities of parenthood, and we believe that having a child together is the right decision for us. Mom, I'm really worried about you. I know you're excited about having a baby with Adrian, but I don't think you've thought through all the implications of living and having a child together without being married. Adrian could leave you at any time, and then you'd be left alone to take care of a baby. You'd have no legal rights to child support or visitation, and it'd be very difficult to support yourself and a child on your own. I know you think Adrian is a good man, but I'm afraid you're being naive. But, you know, I'm still deeply affected by the pain and trauma from my previous marriage with your dad. It didn't end so well, and I'm afraid to make another commitment. I genuinely don't want to repeat the same mistakes I made in the past. It's still a difficult emotional barrier for me to overcome. But why Adrian? Mom, I've told you before that I don't trust Adrian. There's something about him that I find suspicious. I'm worried that he's only interested in your company and your fortune. Gold diggers are not hard to find these days, you know. Why not, honey? Adrian is a good man and all, and he's proved to be a man who's worthy of my trust. He's always been there for me through good times and bad, and he's always willing to support me the best way he can. Well, sweetheart, I understand your concerns but I genuinely believe that Adrian is a good man. He's been by my side through thick and thin, 
providing unwavering support during both the good times and the challenging moments. I know that he'll continue to be a loving and supportive partner, always there to help me in the best way he can. How could you do this to me? I'm your one and only daughter and I need your support, especially at this stage of my life. I'm getting married soon and everything's gonna be overwhelming for me. And now you're saying that you found a new source of happiness in your life? Why are you leaving me now when I need you the most? I don't seriously know if I can handle it all by myself without your support. What are you saying, honey? Of course I'm not leaving you. In fact, I'll still be there for you and support you every step of the way. But there might be times when I won't be as readily available as before. And I need you to prepare yourself for that. Mom, you literally turned the most joyous day of my life into the saddest. You know how lost I was when dad left us, and now, just when my life was about to get a little brighter, you decided to walk out of my life. I know that you won't have enough time to take care of me like you used to. I know you're gonna spend all of your time with your boyfriend and your baby. And what about me? I'll be neglected and tossed aside like I never meant anything to you. Like I didn't even exist. Francesca, why do you have such negative thoughts about me? I'm not the type of person who would neglect you. Your well-being has always been and will continue to be my priority. Having a baby will require more of my time and attention, but it doesn't mean that I will neglect you or forget about you. I love you unconditionally, and I'll always be here for you, no matter what. Let's face the changes together and come out stronger than ever. I need some time to process everything that's happening. I'm feeling sad and disappointed, but I'll be okay. I promise. I know you're just excited about your new baby, and I'm happy for you. I just need some time to adjust to this new reality. Just know that I'm proud of you, Mom. I believe you're gonna be a great mother, just like you always have been to me. I really appreciate your understanding, sweetheart. It means a lot to me. I'll try to spend as much time with you as possible. You know what? Tomorrow, after my prenatal checkup, I can come over to your house in the evening. We can have a dedicated discussion about your wedding plans and make it a special occasion. I want to be fully present and involved in this important milestone of your life. How does that sound to you? <laughs> okay, Mom. That sounds like a good idea. Just be careful on the way. You're still in the early stages of pregnancy, so the baby is still very fragile. I want my brother or sister to be healthy and strong. Thanks for your kind words, darling. I'll be extra careful. Hi, is this Francesca's mom? I'm Harry, Francesca's fiancé and soon-to-be husband. Oh, hello, Harry. It's nice to talk to you. Francesca told me about your wedding plans. I'm so excited for you two. Finally, one of my daughter's biggest dreams is becoming a reality. I'm so happy for the two of you. I can't wait to walk her down the aisle. I know I'll be very emotional when that time comes. Well, about that. There's something I need to discuss with you about the wedding. Wanda recently told me that you're pregnant with your boyfriend's child. I'm shocked that you're pregnant and not married yet. How could you be so reckless and irresponsible? Do you know the consequences of your actions? Your child will be born out of wedlock and may not be accepted by society. Are you even realizing that you're destroying the future of your child before they're even born? I don't understand why you're making such a big deal about this. It's true that I'm not married to my boyfriend Adrian yet, but I have my own reasons for that. Francesca also knows about it, right? My boyfriend understands my situation and he doesn't have any problems with it. Francesca also told me not to worry and that she'll get over it soon. So I think you should do the same. Have you lost your mind? Getting pregnant before getting married is a crime. Do you know what's the estimated number of abortions that took place in the United States last year? Nearly 1 million. It's reckless people like you that cause babies to lose their lives before they're even born. You people easily get carried away by a little temptation. And then you ruthlessly get rid of your unborn child to have an easy and comfortable life. That's disgusting and it's an act of pure evil. You should be ashamed of yourself. Don't think too far-fetched, Harry. I didn't even utter a word about getting rid of my child. In fact, Adrian and I will take full responsibility for raising this child, and we're already excited to welcome them into our lives. Nice try defending yourself, but you're not fooling anyone. You're not supposed to get pregnant before marriage because it's a disgusting thing to do. 
I'm really disappointed in you, Wanda. I used to have much more respect for you. I thought you were a kind, loving, and high-principled woman. But it turns out you're no different than those call girls. Harry, please be more careful with your words. I believe I have done absolutely nothing wrong to deserve being talked down to by you. I have already told you that I have my own reasons for having a child with my boyfriend out of wedlock. You are younger than me, so you may not have experienced life as much as I have. I have been through a broken marriage, and I know how difficult it is to overcome all the wounds and trauma. I just want to avoid making the same mistake as I did in the past. Stop making excuses after excuses. We all know what kind of person you are. A spoiled, rotten woman who only wants to indulge herself in temporary pleasure without thinking about the consequences. You disgust me to no end, Wanda. I've lost all my respect for you as my mother-in-law. I don't want you to appear at my wedding with Francesca. You're a disgrace to everyone around you. And you're only gonna ruin your own daughter's important day if you show up. In fact, I want you to cut ties with Francesca completely because you're nothing but a pain in the neck to her. Excuse me? Who do you think you are to judge me? You're not even married to my daughter yet, so you're not even part of my family. How dare you tell me that I can't attend her wedding? Did you even ask her what she wants? What are you talking about? I will soon become Francesca's husband, so of course she needs to strictly follow what I tell her to do. After all, isn't it common sense for the wife to obey the husband unquestioningly? It's one of the key factors to maintain order, discipline, and happiness in any family. It's a shame that Francesca has a biological mother like you. But as much as I would like, I can't choose who Francesca's mother is, can I? I'm disappointed in you, Harry. I thought you were a kind and decent guy, but now you're just showing me that you're a complete jerk. I can't believe you still hold on to that outdated view about women who get pregnant before marriage. My decision to conceive a child before marriage doesn't define me as a human being, and it doesn't make me a bad person. It's my choice, and I'm not ashamed of it. How could you commit a serious crime and still talk as if you're a saint for doing it? If you had admitted to your sin, I would have had more respect for you. You know how long Francesca has been looking forward to becoming my wife, right? I'm her only love, and she would be devastated if I refused to marry her. Her life would be shattered to pieces. I'm asking you, do you really want what's best for your daughter? Do you want to see her happy alongside the husband of her dreams? Well, of course I want what's best for my daughter. Why wouldn't I? That's what every mother wants for their children, right? Oh, thank God. I'm so glad to see that you're finally capable of basic human decency. Now that you finally came to your senses, I need you to do something. I need you to get rid of your child. That's the only way you can make me stay and ensure that your daughter doesn't experience the trauma of being abandoned by her future husband. Just go to the hospital, get an abortion, and voila, everything's solved. Your belly is not that big, right? So the child shouldn't be that difficult to be disposed of. I reckon it'll only take less than 30 minutes for the whole process. What? Get rid of my child? Are you out of your mind? Why are you telling me to do that? It's the most horrifying thing I've ever heard in my entire life. I know that there are some women out there who are forced to abort their child for one reason or another. But why should I do that when both my boyfriend and I are expecting this child to come to life? That doesn't make any sense at all. Are you stupid or what? Have you been listening to what I've been trying to tell you this whole time? Your unborn baby is an embarrassment and it needs to disappear from this life. If you dispose of the little fetus in your womb, my family's reputation will be stained for having association with a promiscuous woman and your child won't have to endure the discrimination of being a child born out of wedlock. What do you think? It's a win-win decision, right? This way, we can make everyone happy. Just stop. I've had enough. I won't do what you told me to. It's a vile crime. And you're a devil in human form to even suggest that. Look, I don't want to hear any more of your nonsense. I'm going to talk to my daughter about this and see what she has to say. Fine, suit yourself. But if this wedding doesn't happen, it's all your fault. You'll regret it for the rest of your life for ruining your own daughter's future. Francesca. You won't believe what I just heard from Harry. 
He said some of the most cruel things I've ever heard in my entire life, and I almost cried after hearing them. What's wrong, Mom? What did Harry say to you? Judging by the way you're texting, it must be something really terrible. It is indeed, Francesca. I know you've been looking forward to your wedding with Harry for a long time, but it doesn't change the fact that he isn't as good of a man as you think he is. Just calm down and tell me what he said to you, Mom. He... He told me that... <sighs> I really don't know how to say this, honey. It's just too much for me to bear to even think about it. It's okay, Mom. I'm here for you no matter what. Just tell me what happened. I promise I will protect you at all costs. Well, Harry said to me that... He wants me to get rid of my unborn child. He made it abundantly clear that I'm not supposed to get pregnant before marriage. And if everyone finds out about me being pregnant, it will ruin his family's reputation. How could he say such a thing? That's so stupid, cruel, and unacceptable. Is he even aware that you're my mom? And what else did he say? What would he do if he didn't comply with this absurd request? Honey, I don't want to make you sad, but... Harry told me that he's going to leave you and the wedding will be cancelled. What? Seriously? He had the audacity to say that to you? Oh, what nerve! I can't believe he'd say something like that. I guarantee, the next time that I see Harry, I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. I swear I'm not going to go easy on him. I'm not going to forgive anyone who treats my mother poorly. He needs to understand the gravity of his hurtful words and take responsibility for what he did to you. But, Francesca, he has threatened to abandon you if I don't get an abortion. I know how much this wedding means to you, and I can't bear watching you suffer if Harry actually does walk away. Ugh, it's okay, Mom. Harry was just being reckless and stupid. Maybe he didn't even know what he was talking about, so don't mind him. You know, his family is quite traditional, so maybe they'll find things like becoming a parent before getting married to be rather strange. But don't you worry about it, Mom. I'll make sure to talk some sense into him. I'll also have a word with his parents, too, if that's possible. I want to make sure that you receive the friendliest and most genuine welcome from Harry and his family. Not only that, I'll make Harry apologize to you in person. How does that sound, Mom? Is that good enough for you? Really, Francesca? That's so kind of you. It's such a big relief to hear that you feel this way. I thought you would be angry with me or something. You know, with me being pregnant and all, I'm sorry if my child comes at a bad time for you. No, no. Don't think about it too much, Mom. You're pregnant, and the only thing you should focus on is having a good spirit and plenty of rest. Just leave it all to me. I'm gonna talk to Harry and make him apologize to you. Oh, I almost forgot. Do you have some free time this weekend? I was thinking maybe we could go to the mall together and do some shopping. I want to buy some clothes for your baby and some things for my upcoming wedding, too. That sounds like a really good idea, sweetie. Let's do it. Hello, is this Francesca's number? I couldn't get through on your line because it seems to be constantly busy, so I had to text you instead. Oh, yes. I'm Francesca. What's wrong? This is supposed to be my mom's phone number. So, why do you have it? I am sorry to inform you that your mom has been in an accident and is currently in the hospital. I saw her get robbed of her necklace while she was walking down the street. The robber snatched it so forcefully that she fell to the ground. Oh no! That's terrible! Did the police catch the criminal? Well, I don't know all the details because I was just a passerby who happened to be at the crime scene. I helped your mom call an ambulance. I think the police are still searching for the criminal. In any case, I think you should go to the hospital. Your mom really needs your help right now. Oh, of course, I'll be there in a minute. Thank you for taking my mom to the hospital. I really appreciate your help. If it's okay with you, I hope you could stay there a while longer until I arrive so that I can give you something in return, as a token of gratitude. Maybe dinner would be nice. Oh no, it was my pleasure to help. I don't expect anything in return. I hope you can come here as soon as possible. Your mom is still in the emergency room, and she really needs you to be by her side. Hi, Mom. Are you feeling any better now? I'm so sorry for what happened to you. I feel really terrible that I couldn't be there to protect you. 
I can't believe you lost your child like that. I know. It's really unfortunate. I'm still trying to process everything and accept the reality that my child is no longer with me. It's really hurtful. I feel like I can barely breathe. Adrian is next to me and he's comforting me, asking me to be strong, but I just can't. This is too much to bear all at once. I know, Mom. Please stay strong for yourself and for everyone. This is a difficult time, but as a family, we should stick together. I know Harry and I are getting married soon, but if you think it's necessary, we can delay our wedding until you feel well enough to attend. Harry? But he's already been arrested. What? <laughs> what did you just say? Harry got arrested? How could it be? What happened? It appears that he has become entangled in my situation, and the police have taken him into custody for further investigation. They informed me that the robber responsible for the tragic loss of my child has some connection to Harry. While it initially seemed like a random act of robbery, the police believe that there's a carefully crafted scheme lurking beneath the surface. With Harry's involvement, I can't help but wonder who might be the next person under suspicion. It does seem quite complex, doesn't it, Mom? I'm just as puzzled as you are. Why would Harry be involved, and what could possibly be his motive? I truly don't understand. I mean, there's a possibility that the police are just confused. Harry's a good man, so there's no way he could have any association with those criminals. Well, Francesca, why don't you remove the mask of hypocrisy and reveal your true self to everyone? I think it's about time, isn't it? M mom I'm confused. What do you mean by hypocrisy? Are you suggesting that I'm a hypocrite? Who else could it be other than you? Stop acting so innocent. Harry has already confessed everything to the police. You should go to the police station and do the same. If you plead guilty quickly, they may consider reducing your prison sentence. You and Harry indirectly killed my child, and you should be held accountable for your despicable crime. What are you even babbling about, old lady? Are you hallucinating because of your medication? What do we have to do with the loss of your child? I seriously don't understand. Stop playing dumb. The robber was just a poor homeless man who was tricked into helping you and Harry with your evil plan. Harry paid him $200 to snatch my necklace in such a way that would make me fall and lose my baby. Why would you go to such lengths to kill my unborn child? What did they ever do to you or Harry? Just tell me the truth. The police are already on your trail, and there's no way you'll escape justice. Well, well, well. It seems that you have finally grasped the situation, Wanda. If you truly want to understand why we resorted to such actions, then let me make it clear. It's all because of you. It's your fault. Why do you feel the need to have another child? Am I not sufficient for you? I have always been your one and only daughter, your top priority. Why can't we keep it that way? Is that all it comes down to for you? You simply can't bear the fact that you're no longer my primary focus? No! Of course not! I couldn't care less about you! In fact, I can't wait to cut you off from my life completely. What I'm after is your house, your company, and your vast fortune. More children means that your inheritance will be divided in halves, thirds, fourths, or more. Do you think I could live with that? Seeing my own money torn to shreds just because of some dumb child of yours? They're not even my flesh and blood. They're just strangers! So there's no way I'm going to let them get their hands on my money. <gasps> so, this is it? It turns out you've been eyeing my inheritance all this time? And for money, you would do anything. Even the most heinous crime like killing an unborn child? You're sick, Francesca. You're seriously sick. I can't believe that you've become this twisted soul. What happened to the innocent girl I know? You weren't like this before you met Harry. Is this what he instilled in your head? Did he brainwash you? You're wrong, Wanda. Harry didn't brainwash me. 
In fact, he did the opposite. He opened my eyes. He showed me what I'm really capable of and what I could become. With the power of money, I could become so much more than what I am right now. You know what? We didn't just want to make you lose your baby. We aimed even higher. We want you gone. We want you out of our sight as soon as possible so we can eventually take over your company and your vast fortune. <laughs> what? You're crazy, Francesca. I can't believe you would turn out like this. You and Harry are complete maniacs, and you should be put in jail for the rest of your lives. Ha! Try me. Harry may have been foolish enough to get caught, but I am not as feeble-minded as he is. I have already devised an escape plan in case our scheme goes down the drain. I'm currently at the airport, moments away from boarding a flight to another country. I will ensure that no one, not even you or the police, ever finds me again. Not so fast, Francesca. Do you truly believe that you can elude your destiny? Take a moment to glance behind you. Unbeknownst to you, the police have been meticulously tracking your every move. You might attempt to flee with fear gnawing at your heels, but rest assured, you won't be able to conceal yourself indefinitely. The consequences of your actions are catching up to you, and you will find yourself confronting the weight of justice. The price you'll have to pay will be exorbitant, to say the least. Karma has an innate ability to seek out and confront those who sow its seeds. What? You mean... No! No, no! This can't be happening to me! I'm too young to be in prison! Can you spare me this time, Wanda? I swear, I'm still the loving and kind-hearted daughter you know. I didn't mean anything I said to you. Please, just let me off the hook this time. Mom? Pick up the phone, Mom! In the end, Francesca and Harry were forced to confront the weight of their transgressions. It was an agonizing sight to witness my own daughter and future son-in-law being sentenced to prison. However, I cannot find it within myself to forgive them for the irreparable harm they inflicted upon my unborn child. Francesca and Harry committed a heinous crime. And what's even more distressing is that my own daughter didn't hesitate to talk about the prospect of removing me from the picture. That's why both of them deserve to be incarcerated for the remainder of their lives, allowing them ample time to contemplate the gravity of their actions. Adrian apologized to me for not being able to protect me from what happened. Throughout it all, he remained steadfast by my side, providing unwavering support as we weathered the storm together. I eagerly anticipate a brighter future, where Adrian and I can bask in the joys of a contented life and embark on a journey of healing leaving behind the scars of the past.